Oh no, look at this little dinosaur getting eaten. Holy sh- This is the Megalodon, the largest shark to ever exist. To give you perspective, here's me standing in a real Megalodon mouth. I'm 6'8 here, by the way. But sadly, it went extinct 2 to 10 million years ago. At least, that's what some people think. Others believe they still exist somewhere out there in the ocean for a few reasons. One, people find Megalodon teeth all the time. Some of the teeth could be more recent than scientists say. Two, there have been multiple sightings around the world of a megalodon-like creature. And finally, three, people believe the megalodon lives in the depths of the Marianas Trench. So I'm gonna test each one of these theories to see if they're true and if there's enough evidence to prove that the megalodon could still exist. And our first stop. We're now here at Peace River, where people find megalodon teeth all the time. Over the past several years, interest in fossil hunting on the Peace River has absolutely exploded. <laughs> Once again, the plan is to search here, find megalodon teeth, send them to someone who can date them, and hopefully we find one that's more recent than the scientists say the megalodon has disappeared, proving that it could still be out there. All right, so we're, we're gonna start looking. But we got uh, basically just sifters. So how this works, I'm gonna show you. You'll scoop up sand. Oh, that's not really working that well. Oh yeah, that works perfect. I didn't think it yet. I, that was the first, we just started. And so my friend Tyler who did this, he gave me some advice. He said, go to where the river bends. And that's where we'll find all the teeth, I guess. I actually, I really hope there's not gators in here. I don't know, I don't know what, what Florida's actually like. Man, I've never been here. My, my assumption is just there's alligators everywhere. Oh, I hear some hard stuff. Okay, apparently people literally find teeth here all day, every day. So I'm gonna feel kind of embarrassed if I don't. Leaf. Lots of leaves. A rock. Come on. If I was looking for shells, this would be a great day. So we just kept sifting all around the river with not much luck. Man, look at that tooth, bro. Oh, is that a tooth? No, nah, it's a leaf. Oh, I'm gonna be so it's it's starting to rain right now. Everything is against us, the lights are cut off. But I'm still standing at my dream, standing in front of my dream, and saying it's not over until I win and find a shark tooth. So we kept looking to find a tooth that could possibly prove the Meg was real. But I also still had other ways I was gonna try to do that later on. All I know is that it was now nighttime, and I still hadn't found anything. Wait. Oh. Oh, what? Damn. I really, I genuinely thought that was one. <laughs> it's getting darker and darker, uh, and harder to see. You'd think I'd be giving up now. I'd be quitting. No. I won't stop. I'm going to find one. Tonight! This is probably the most Florida I'll ever be in my life right now. Oh, is that some sort of tooth? That looks like a tooth. That's a small tooth. Oh, first I think down. that's a tooth though. We don't know if it's megalodon. There are megalodon with small teeth or baby, <laughs> baby megs. Uh, like there is a lot of small tooth. I think that is though. That has to be right. I can't drop this. <laughs> Holy sh! I don't know if that's a megalodon tooth yet. It could be just a shark tooth. Oh, I found my first shark tooth. I think we're gonna find a big one. That would be incredible. Let's go. There it is. Oh, it is. Yeah. We're gonna take all the teeth we found, maybe like four or five, I think, to an expert. We just made it to the store with all the megalodon teeth. I don't know if they'll have any quite as good as as this one, this bad boy right here. Uh, we're gonna see if they're megalodon teeth, maybe how old they are, and then see what teeth they have, because they have like a crazy collection. We, we kind of just wanted to ask, we were searching for some teeth, if any of them are megalodon teeth. That one looks like a sand tiger. Can't tell on this one, that's a Possibly a lemon. That one is a bull shark. 
looks like a lemon. N no Meg teeth? No Meg. Baby Megs? No Baby Megs. Darn it. How can you tell a Megalodon from like a normal shark tooth? Is it like wider? Yes. I'll show you a Baby Meg. <laughs> so you'll know really that you have a Meg when yeah. you find one. How, how old are most of these? Two to ten plus million years old. Oh my gosh. You don't think there could be any uh, more recent ones? No, not that you're going to find that haven't been fossilized as far as maybe go. So if they don't fossilize, a modern tooth stays white. So you, you haven't found any meg teeth like that? That would probably be worth millions of dollars. Yeah, oh my gosh, we really got to find one. Do you think anywhere in the world there is one still alive in the depths? I don't know. There's a lot that they haven't even gone through yet in the ocean yeah. out there. After searching for teeth, then taking them to an expert, we learned that no megalodon teeth could be recent because none of them are white. They're all fossilized. And if they were found, they would be millions of dollars and we probably would have heard of it. So this proves the first theory wrong. So now it was on to theory two, that there have been sightings of the megalodon. I thought if there's anyone who would have seen a megalodon, it would be someone who sees a lot of sharks. So I thought, who not better to talk to than a shark hunter? Not just any shark hunter, the most notorious shark hunter in history. Mark the shark. Dedicated his life to one simple job, killing sharks. Number one monster fishing charter boat company in the world. People online say it looks like you're strangling the bird. I'm losing 10 IQ points by talking to you right now. We just uh, spent a lot of time looking for teeth and now I'm gonna try to contact a shark hunter. I'm honestly getting pretty thirsty. <laughs> Luckily, I got air up the sponsor of today's video. While I call Mark the Shark Hunter, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about Arup. Arup literally flavors water through scent. So all you do is you grab one of these flavor pods, you put it right on there, and then you just pull it out like this, and then... Oh my gosh. Okay, he's answering. Hey Mark, uh, this is Gavin. Um, basically, I'm making a documentary about sharks, and I was wondering if I could join you guys on a shark hunt. Yeah, that's no problem. Okay, we'll, we will head over there right now. So, Mark's boat, the shark boat, should be somewhere out here. Mark. Nope. Have you heard of Arup? Changing the water bottle game. They have, like, an absurd amount of flavors. Raspberry lemon, strawberry lemongrass, iced tea peach. Thanks to Arup for helping me solve mysteries like this one. And you can get your very own Arup bottle, link in description. We're gonna see the legendary Mark the Shark. Legendary Mark the Shark. I'm, I'm curious to see if he has Megalodon teeth and how much, like, basically the whole idea with it is like, this guy's been hunting sharks since I was 10. This guy probably knows more about sharks than almost anyone else, and he probably knows if the megalodon could be real more than anyone else. So we're gonna we're gonna ease into the questions. We just we just told them we're making a documentary about sharks, not the not the megalodon. You're yeah. up. Gavin? Gavin? Gavin. This is this is Ethan. Hey, what's been up, man? Nice to meet you. Do you have any uh, megalodon teeth by chance? No. Man. Only the ones that I've caught. Cool. Let's see. I haven't caught a megalodon yet. <laughs> So we went out to the boat to get ready and meet the crew. I'm assuming you've swam with sharks. Come on, man. I'm the real man, dude. <laughs> Jason Momoa? Nah, he ain't got feet. Oh, shit. He protects them. I kill them. Go fishing, boys. Let's go. Hopefully we find the Meg. Play the Pirates of the Caribbean music. Now we went out to the sea where I was gonna search for the largest shark I could while also trying to figure out answers about the megalodon. The first step to lure in and catch one of these giant sharks was to catch a fish first to use as bait. So that's what we started doing. And now was honestly the perfect time to ask Mark and the crew a little bit more about the megalodon. Except there was one issue. Oh man, oh, I feel so terrible. Oh my gosh. Thumbs up, baby! Thumbs up! Consent! Consent was given! No bullying! After vomiting and not getting bullied for hours... Another YouTuber bites the dust! It was finally time to get some answers about the Megalodon. What's what's the biggest shark you've caught? Uh, almost 3,000. Wow. You think the, uh, the Megalodon could have been real or not? Nah? You don't think deep, deep in the Marianas Trench or something? <laughs> no shot. You, you think you could catch one if it did exist? I could kill any living creature on the planet. All the stuff I got. God was built from my boat. 
<laughs> Last year we caught along, I would say 24, 25 tiger sharks itself. Also Are those the biggest? Like what's? I don't biggest, know much about the biggest, sharks. Uh, the biggest one that we caught was a tiger. Okay. It was about uh, 1,500 pounds. How, how like long is that? About 15 feet. It's pretty long. You think the, the meg could be real? The meg would die? Yeah. yeah. Somewhere deep in the the, the Marianas Trench. There's, there's French. always something bigger and badder out there, man. I've had instances. I got 500 pound line. I pulled up 1,200, 1,500 pound sharks with that. I've had hits where they took the whole thing, snapped my swivel in half. There's there's big things out there, and that's what we're on the hunt for every day. And then shortly after talking to him, there he is, big one, yeah, two boys, big one. We got something big on the line. Could it be the Meg? So they ended up trying to reel it in for about 30 minutes. Turns out catching a shark is quite the long process. After so much struggle, they caught it. I'm pretty sure this was not a Meg, but it was still a shark. And just so you know, they catch these sharks specifically to study them, and then they donate the meat to the homeless. Where's the Meg, buddy? Gavin, I think you had a close call with the Megalodon. It looks like it, man. After talking with Mark and the real-life Aquaman, I realized it was extremely unlikely that the Megalodon sightings were real, and they were most likely just a giant shark. Although, the real Aquaman did say there were some big creatures out there, so to clear all this up and possibly prove the final and biggest theory wrong of the Megalodon living in the Marianas Trench, I messaged a Megalodon and marine biology expert that could hopefully give us a clear answer. My name is Elliot Weston. I own and operate Weston Collection, focusing primarily on fish and fossils. I talked to Elliot a bit about the evolution of the megalodon, which he showed me through these teeth. A meg tooth compared to a great white shark tooth, but it was literally munching on great white sharks. What a full set of megalodon teeth looks like. This would have come out of roughly a 50 foot shark. And how it bites down. And some of his favorite teeth, which by the way, he has personally found all of this. All of his links are in the description. One of my favorite teeth is this tooth. <laughs> this one is a compression fraction tooth. Teeth, you know, that are pathological. Two teeth that grew on one root. But there was only one thing I really wanted to know. Uh, and I'm, I'm just gonna get straight uh, to like the main question, um, which is what I've kind of been trying to ask with this, uh, this documentary, which is, do you think the Megalodon could still exist and why? So I'd say it's highly unlikely. Megalodons were thought to be more warm water species. Water temperatures changed, uh, migration patterns of their food sources most likely changed. A lot of the sites that we dive, uh, we'll find teeth where you see all the sharks showed up to the spot that typically had their food source, but the food source wasn't there. So what would you say to the people who have claimed to see one? Do you think it would just be a different, larger shark? Yeah, I'd say they probably saw a basking shark they look huge underwater. I wanted to mention uh, there was a fish called the Celiocan, thought to go extinct six million years ago, and then they found it, I believe, in like 1948. So you don't think the megalodon could be a similar, similar case to something like that? No, and that was an amazing discovery. It was like a, a tiny sea mount. Uh, the difference yeah. between the Celiocan and the megalodon is the megalodon is one of the largest apex uh, predatory sharks. It would be hard for the meg to hide. You know, the argument is it could be in the Marianas Trench. It doesn't really make sense because it's pretty cold down there. The theory is true that they're more of a warm water species. They'd have to be around warmer temperature that they can tolerate. Yeah. We, would, we would not only see more, we'd see declines in their prey source, which would be whales, then wash up on the beach and one had died. I mean, you see all sorts of sharks wash up on the beach. People would have caught them in nets. So there's a lot of things that go against the Meg still being here.